work in the souls of these people. It comes from their Irish and Scotch backgrounds, and like their ancestors, when folks get to singing in churches, homes, anywhere, what they usually sing is the old harp. Harp music is, is vocal music, no accompaniment, never an accompaniment. And it's written in four-part harmony, sometimes three-part harmony in the older books. And it's written for essentially the musically illiterate. It's written for the people who don't know how to read music. The congregation is not the choir. A me is a diamond, right. They just used marks so people could understand. Yes, and you learn to jump from the intervals like do me, do me, so, stuff like that. Well, then pretty soon while you can uh, you can learn your song without no music. <laughs> Singing the old harp, it's been happening in these mountains for hundreds of years, and today it's a tradition that's being kept alive in Mrs. Helen Hutchison's parlor. It's four-part harmony without accompaniment. The singers first sing the shapes, then they sing the words. What it is, is harp music. in these mountains. Even today in mountain coves and churches and in restoration groups, people still sing the old harp. Like their fathers before them, they are keeping musical traditions in trust for generations yet to come. 